New this morning on GMAT, East Texas is about to have another safe haven baby box. It lets new moms surrender their newborns to local emergency agencies. GMAT's Andrea Valdez shows us how one grandmother was inspired to make more after her own granddaughter ended up inside one of these boxes. She's in my heart. She stole it from the minute she came to my daughter. Susan Tingle of Palestine is describing her granddaughter, Maya. At just a few days old, Maya yeah. became one of the first Sleep. babies in Indiana, surrendered at a fire station in a safe haven baby box. This is usually placed on um, a solid brick wall, no cameras, and so it's completely anonymous. Then once the door is closed, there's a second alarm. The firefighter is notified. EMS will come and check over the baby. Susan's daughter, Shelby Faltinsky of Indiana, took on the role as Maya's new mom, expressing her gratitude for the device in her state. Her birth mommy courageously surrendered her in a safe haven baby box. The Department of Child Services then uh, contacted us and um, asked if we would be interested in interviewing to adopt a safe haven baby. In Texas, Senator Brian Hughes of Mineola introduced a bill that would expand the use of these devices at emergency agencies, protecting the mother's identity in the process. We're talking about an alternative to a mother who might be tempted to abandon the child in a, heaven forbid, a dumpster, a public restroom, or worse. With Senate Bill 780 becoming a law in September, Tingle got to work on a plan to get a baby box here in East Texas. Safe Haven comes and um, they decide exactly where the box go once we get the funding for it. Police station, fire station, someplace that is manned that can get the baby when it's placed in the box. Before the box can call East Texas home, Tingle is encouraging more East Texans to learn about the project to bring more newborns into a forever home. So many people, including law enforcement, don't even know what a safe haven baby box is. So that's bringing awareness to all of that and bringing the community together. For Good Morning East Texas, I'm Andrea Valdez. Now on April 6th, the Palestine Baby Box Committee is hosting a fundraiser fair to raise their goal of $25,000. The event's at Reagan Park in Palestine from 6 in the evening to 8 o'clock. It's free to attend, but they are accepting donations that will go toward this project. We'll keep you updated on its progress.